I'm Carrie Corrigan. And I'm Linda Welsenbach. And we are in the gowning area that precedes the clean room. Carrie and I are sitting in the Antarctic Meteorite Storage Facility in Suitland, Maryland. This facility houses all the Antarctic meteorites that are collected in the U.S. Antarctic Meteorite Program. We have about 15,000 Antarctic meteorites. This facility is a clean room, which is why we're dressed so strangely, and it is meant to essentially eliminate contaminants that may interact with the meteorite. This is one of our dry nitrogen storage cabinets, and you can see they have these funny gloves that stick out, and they stick out because there is pressurized nitrogen gas inside of here. And this is what we use to store our meteorites. And the reason that they're in dry nitrogen is so that they don't get exposed to moisture, and also they're in these cabinets so they aren't contaminated by anything. Keeping things like this and the meteorites that we have in this kind of storage actually preserves them so that when the instrumentation gets better and better 30, 40, 50, 100 years from now, we can make even more detailed measurements than we can now, but that the meteorites will still be fresh as they were when they came off the ice. In the last 30 years, we've collected more new types of meteorites, including finding meteorites from the Moon and Mars, than we have in the last 500 years. Each meteorite that we have in our collections is actually a piece of a much bigger puzzle. What we're trying to do with the research of meteorites is to understand the formation of the solar system. And so every meteorite that we collect is a very important piece into putting that much bigger puzzle together. 